What's up guys, welcome to another video. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Reese Williamson. Uh, be sure to check out some of the previous videos to kind of catch up on everything I've been doing. Uh, so today what I'm going to do is go through certain kind of foods and drinks and items that I put in place for my diet to make sure that I can stay motivated to stay in my diet, uh, keep progressing and obviously cater any cravings that I've got in terms of like sweet tooth or anything that I kind of feel like it's a kind of wee treat. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go through them now, one by one, and yeah, pretty much it. Okay, number one item that I think uh, really caters my sweet tooth, because I love sweets, I love all that chocolate, cakes, you name it, pastries, all of that. But yeah, so I really love ice cream. So something that I would recommend if you've really got a sweet tooth and you're struggling for that kind of sense, uh, buying like these low calorie, low calorie ice creams, they work a treat. So this one is really cheap as well, it's only £2 at a Morrison, so this is the salted caramel. Like, like I said, just make sure you read them as well. This one, the salted caramel one, uh, is actually very low in fat, which is good for me. Uh, but yeah, these are ideal, these are honestly ideal, I, I don't need them all the time. But if you, you love ice cream and you've got a sweet tooth, then definitely get something like this. Really cheap and it, it will like combat any cravings that you've got in terms of sweet tooth. Next one. Okay, so these might be small, but they definitely do the trick. So these are 10 calorie jellies. Like these are unbelievable in terms of sweet tooth. Like these definitely combat against it. They're literally weak in the tubs. And trust me, if you can I get a, if you're hungry. Uh, throughout the day and you don't want to eat anything uh, with any calories in it or you've not got a lot of calories left then definitely pick these up. These are out of B&M but you can also get them out of like Tesco and something. Uh, they are like 50 to 70 pence, I can't remember. Uh, yeah and they're amazing, you get different flavours. These are like the Black Forest Gato flavour. Can you see that? Uh, and this one is like the lemon cheesecake. I've got others in there. So I, I buy these all the time, just kind of stock up and I bring them with me even to work or throughout the day here and if it's like a hot day and these are nice and cold, uh, then it is ideal. So that's something else I'd recommend buying. Okay, I know this is just like, everyone probably buys this anyway, but yeah, so buying like the looting juice, so buying like squash, I like the kind of apple and blackberry or like summer fruits one. It sounds kind of generic, but like these are something that I've been taking for years, they've definitely cut me off like calorie dense fizzy juice you know, any kind of juice with calories in it, these all I do is pop a wee bit in my water and it actually helps me drink uh, throughout the day because I, for me, I, I, I can't just handle water throughout the day, like the full day I need something a little bit tasty, so that's why I do pick up like how many bottles in our family goes through a week, uh, but yeah like I'm happy taking that, it's got a little bit of calories in it, uh, a tiny bit of carbs, like tiny wee bit, don't need to track it but yeah so that definitely helps me get my, my, my water, my, yeah, my intake and water in throughout the day uh, and yeah that definitely does help so try and if you're struggling to get your water in maybe try and get some diluting juice uh, like so. Or what you can even get is these, yeah so these are the kind of shot wee things, they're called squashed. So I get these for work, so it's ha handy. All you do is open it up uh, and spray in the bottle, and it's a lot stronger than the likes of this. Uh, so there's 20 drinks in this. I recommend uh, getting one of the two of these if you are struggling to get your water intake in. Okay, like my probably go-to if I'm struggling, for, uh, if I'm hungry or I'm just kind of bored. Sometimes I'm bored and I like just to have something to eat or something to drink or anything like that. Uh, the best way for me uh, throughout the day uh, in the morning is probably coffee. It's not that strong in caffeine, uh, the likes of like, a cup of coffee so you can have like two or three a day, uh, which I would recommend and that's this is something that really does help like create like hunger and cravings if I want to go to food. Uh, I either drink some water or obviously get some coffee and sometimes that suppresses my appetite. Uh, Throughout the day, maybe till about 8 o'clock at night, maybe 6, maybe six o'clock maybe uh, is my kind of limit when I take my coffee because I don't want to be up all night because uh, of the caffeine in it but yeah, coffee is something that I've went to for a number of years 
um, coffee and tea, uh, like green tea, normal normal cups of tea or coffee and it is like very low calories so I don't have to track any in terms of like the Americano. If you do kind of want something a bit more tasty, I've got a machine actually uh, that my mum bought for Christmas that you can do is you can get like different lattes, cappuccinos, uh, all that kind of stuff to kind of spice it up but it does, it's something that kind of very low calories and yeah, kind of combats against hunger. Okay, so the number one thing that I always kind of rely to if I'm kind of hungry or thirsty or I want something to eat or I'm bored, like you're saying, eh, on a low calorie diet eh, is like fizzy juice. So like we have a good good amount of fizzy juice in our house. Eh, yeah, I don't have it all the time, maybe one or two a day if I need to. Eh, but yeah, it does combat against kind of sweet tooth. So like the likes of like Diet Coke's really tasty, or like the Fanta, I really love, or like the Vimto. So I do have maybe one or one a day or something eh, if I'm feeling like I'm, I need a kind of sweet tooth. But I'll kind of mix up with, between all the ones I've said. But I don't know what it is about see what fizzy juice. I just like the kind of gassiness of it. Like see the the fizz. Eh, I don't actually like sparkling water too much because you get lots of no flavour. But I like the I like the cans. I never actually I'm not a big fan of fizzy juice, but I think it is perfect for craving your eh, like conquering your sweet tooth, which I've got. I okay, know it sounds kind of generic as well, but keeping your mind busy with chewing them is honestly the, the best kind of best kind of tip I can give you, best item I can give you. Like I do go through a lot of chewing gum throughout the day, and it just keeps me busy as in like, because sometimes I get bored and I just want to chew. And that's honestly, it's probably the best thing like, I could recommend for you if you are feeling hungry. It will kind of keep your mind off it. Uh, it will. For example, at work, I try and, try and uh, get some chewing gum in my mouth and not even think about food. Uh, the light of things that other stuff is amazing, right enough, but you can buy like, a big tub of for like £2 and just kind of pop a wee bit of chewing gum in when you do feel kind of hungry or, or even thirsty at times uh, and keep your mind busy. That's probably the best item uh, that I would recommend for like weight loss, fat loss, because you, you don't actually think about food as much if you've got a bit of chewing gum in your mouth and the kind of minty taste kind of sets your mind off. Uh, another thing I'd actually recommend is see at the end of the night when you're finished uh, so you don't actually go and indulge in more food is actually brush your teeth. Like, it sounds kind of stupid but it works the same as the chewing gum. Like, when I brush my teeth psychologically it means that I'm kind of ready for bed. Uh, so as soon as my, my last kind of meal finishes I try and go and brush my teeth as quickly as possible or I should say, get something minty in my, uh, my mouth. Uh, kind of sets my mind off to say that that's me done for the day uh, and yeah so these are the kind of items that I would probably say are the best way to kind of conquer against any hunger issues any boredom that you have throughout your weight loss because at the end of the day you don't want to be eating all the time because you want to make progression you want to make the progression that you uh, that's why you diet uh, so like doing these kind of things lower calorie kind of tricks and kind of wee tips wee secret tips of uh, what I would be doing uh, to try and make sure that you're still progressing, you're still getting to, to, to the goal that you've set and yeah, try them. Yeah, so all this stuff you can actually buy in your own supermarket, you can buy at Tesco, Morrisons, B&M for like, if you want a bit more cheaper, you can find like different stores that actually do it for a lot cheaper, like Home Bargains, like I said B&M, eh, all that kind of stuff, do it a lot cheaper, and maybe in like Aldi and Lidl, uh, but yeah, so go and Go and stock up on this stuff if, you get, uh, if you're on your fat loss journey because uh, I do recommend that it will help you constantly, uh, consistently stay on your diet without going off track or indulging in other food. Uh, so yeah, give us a try. So that's us, that's the, the video for today. So if you liked the video, remember to smash the thumbs up button. Uh, comment any other videos you want to actually see in the future. Uh, and to all the new viewers out there, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on another video. Uh, and also hit the wee alarm button because that means that it gives you a notification that uh, I'm posting a video or I'm about to post a video. So in terms of video frequency, I actually upload a video every Wednesday and Saturday uh, around kind of noon. So make sure you stay uh, stay tuned and like I said, hit the wee bell button because what that does is uh, alerts you when uh, there's a video up on that day. Uh, perfect. So and again, stay positive, stay grateful, and I will see you in the next one.